Hey guys, Ryan's Tutorials here with another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make a great YouTube tutorial. As you just saw, the only way to open a YouTube tutorial is with a shitty graphic of your YouTube channel. You're going to want to make sure to make this thing look like a real piece of garbage. Because this opening graphic legitimizes your video and it proves that you, someone currently talking to a laptop, are professional and worth listening to. So next what we're going to want to do is throw in like 5 to 10 little YouTube annotations on top of our video. Now they can link to our YouTube channel, our personal website, or just nothing at all. The point here is that there are so many of them that our video is impossible to see. Now once these clear up, we're just going to want to linger on our desktop for a little bit. Now this is just so that we can give viewers a glimpse at both our personal folders and also, very importantly, the non-discrete technology that is our computer background. Now you may have noticed the lackluster enthusiasm in my voice, but it's paramount in making a video tutorial that we show no excitement or enthusiasm. This is the sweet spot right here. As you can see, the more enthusiastic you are, the less professional you will sound in your tutorial. You need to sound like you spend all day and night in front of a computer. Otherwise, the viewer will doubt your credibility. Now, I always aim to either sound like I just woke up, or I'm literally just about to go to sleep. Either one of those should work. Now whenever we are making a point, make sure to make uh, your mouse move, make little boxes like this. You, know, you can move it around. It's kind of like we're gesturing with our cyber hands, and it looks great. Just for a frame of reference here, you can either make a video that's about three minutes long, as I'm trying to do with this one, or you can do one that's 19 minutes long. Whatever one you decide to do, it's your choice, but if you make a 19 minute long video, make sure to keep talking about a bunch of stuff unrelated to the tutorial, like your personal life or things that have been on your mind lately. For instance, it's been snowing a lot around my house these days, so I've been pretty cold. Oh, almost forgot. Let's get a few mic hits in here. Great, okay, now let's go ahead and talk really close to the mic. This provides a sense of intimacy, but also connection with our audience. Usually we're gonna wanna get that done up top. Also, you may have already noticed, but what you're gonna wanna do is make a point of saying what you're gonna wanna do as often as humanly possible. Now finally, we have the choice of ending our video with either a scrolling text screen that says thanks for watching, or with as many recommended video embeds as YouTube will allow for. I was able to squeeze in about 20. Now make sure to add a subscribe button in there somewhere. This has been Ryan Tutorials and the most human contact I've had in a good while.